Hey everyone, it's Ringo again, and today we're playing Finding Blade. Now, last time, we managed to finally actually beat Chapter 8. So this time, we're continuing into a new chapter, 8x. Of course, I can't see all the text, but I'm going to do my best to, like, sort of guess from context. So, Roy vowed to protect Lelina. With Burn coming full force, however, Roy's army is uh, no equal. Therefore, he decided to try and obtain a legendary weapon. He thinks it's best to obtain it before, I think, Burn managed to get their hands... Okay, I have no idea what it says, but, like, on it. Lelina shows them to a cave on the outskirts of Ostia. Where a legendary weapon is hidden. The cave, looking at the foot of a, I don't know, mountain, can't, can't see, will be no small obstacle for Roy. Right. Okay, right. Who the hell are these enemies? Burn? This is Burn, we're dealing, what are we dealing with here? Hang on. Can't see. Bandits, of course. Right. Yes. And they have this bloke named Henning. A hero. Well, shit, that means he's going to be bloody tough to kill. He is promoted, after all. Right. Okay. Let's pick our units up. Uh, Okay, come on, I can't even see the unit menu. I have to be honest here, I'm sort of getting a bit... I don't know, is, is it really enjoyable for you to see me? It, it It's very much not enjoyable for me, and I will you know, keep doing the Let's Play if you guys want me to, but to be honest, like, is it really fun to see me fumble as much because I can't see things? Because, I mean, I don't think it's fun. And the whole point of this is that it's supposed to be fun. So I really want you guys to comment down below and say, do you actually think it's fun to watch when I fumble this much? It's very, it's very important that you do. Anyway, let's just check if we have everything we need on, on the weapons front. Mm -hmm. Well, Lou goes through fires very quickly, so I'm just going to give him another one real quick. There we go. Right. Now you need another heal. No, not that one. Not, not that one. And heal. There we go. Yeah. But seriously, is it really enjoyable for you to see me fumble this much? If it's not, then I'll end the let's play. We'll focus on Oblivion or something. Or play Ori in the Blind Forest. I don't know. So really, seriously, comment down below. Say it. Okay? Say what you think. Now, let's start. Up to 8x, the blazing blade, which is right. Okay, so the boss and armies in the cave. What? How many of them are there? The no boss. No, uh, didn't see the last bit because I had to press the button again. It's strange though. Lords of Lycia have something, something, something. Uh, uh, context. Better things to do than. Uh, but bigger fish to fry than bandits like us, I'm guessing, he says. Well, what do we do? Don't expect the something. Uh, they know much about this cave. I don't know. Just lure them onto the geysers and get something. Roy, this way. The legendary weapon is on the other side of this flaming crevice. Lilia, are you alright? Um... Uh, have you already come to terms with everything? 
Well, maybe not just yet, but I can't afford to be in sorrow. Ostia needs me to protect it, just as it needed my father before me. I'm just glad you're all right, Lilina. Only because you're with me, Roy. What? Did you just say something? No, nothing. Let me tell you what I know about the weapon. The sword uh, here was used by Roland himself, one of the eight legends. Yeah, they take a lot of inspiration from the song of Roland. And this, uh, it's called Jura uh the weapon's called Jur uh, Jurandal, which I'm pretty sure that was like Roland from the song of Roland's sword. Roland himself, one of the eight legends. Roland, the first Marquis of Ostia. Exactly, he's my ancestor. This sword is called Jurandal, the Blazing Blade. Jurandal. The name has a strange echo to it. So Roland used Durandal, uh, I don't know, to slay the dragon during the scouring. And how the legend goes. I also say that after the war, Roland returned from to his home of Ostia. He raised Durandal high above his, I don't know, head. And the earth scorched by the, f uh, the flames of war suddenly blossomed with life again. I mean... I'm, I'm, I think that might be what it says. Uh, I'm trying, I'm doing my best guess from context here. Ah, that's quite the story. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That something is quite the story. It's a weapon that can defeat dragons, so it must have some exceptional power. Oh yes, I heard that a something group of bandits has made it base here. Will the sword be all right? Uh, what if the bandits have taken Duran? I'm, I'm guessing. Oh no, don't worry yourself about that. Only the sentence of Roland, uh, know how to remove Durandal from its sheath. Okay, then how the hell are we going to use it? That's reassuring. All that's left, then, is to something. Uh, to, to remove all the bandits and take the sword. Ah. Uh... Right, okay. So. Yeah, I really don't know if I can just do this because it's... Seriously, I mean, seriously. The place where the units spawn in now is covered by the screen malfunction. I can't, so I can't see them. See the threat. Right. Well, we can do that. I don't know if I can do this, though. Right, let's take Lance. We'll send him over here to smash the mercenaries. I and Lance will do just fine. And seriously, I can't see, and I can't really play the game when I can't see, can I? I can't, I can't do this. I think. I really, I really don't think I can do this. So yeah, I think I'm going to make this last episode of Fire Emblem. I'm very sorry. Like with Mario and Luigi, I might return to it someday if I get another emulator and another ROM and all that. Then I, I could play to this point on my own and then Lots of that, good sense. And then maybe, maybe if from there we could, and then maybe I could restart the Let's Play from there. But I really don't know. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the Let's Play here. I'm sorry. I really am. Especially when I can't even see the units and the enemies and such. I can't really play the game, can I? Now, sure enough, you could hit both. So yeah. Last episode. I'm really sorry, but we will be moving to my new computer and playing new games and such. So yeah. Now, you may be thinking, well, can't you just transfer the files and take it from there? Well, I tried. I really did. I worked very hard to try and transfer the files. I can't. Because uh, files are locked behind some stupid stuff that I can't get through. I can't find the files, so I can't really transfer them. 
So yeah, I can't trap the files, so yeah, I'm ending that by now. Sorry. For now, I'm going to do my best to make this last episode enjoyable for you all. So yeah. Right, so he tries to kill Lance, and he gets hit in, but Lance is alright, he's pretty tough. Uh, okay, right, I'll have to keep those in mind. Let's send up Wade here, he can axe the mate, wait, okay, so he does 16 damage, how much health does mate have? 19, that's annoying. Right, Roy perhaps, maybe he could do some... Sorting. Yeah, okay, Roy could kill him. So yeah, Roy kill him. Go! And please dodge. He's not going to, but okay, fine. Well, one can only hope. So yeah, Roy gets the kill. Lovely. That would be a stupid decision. Okay, let's send, let's move up Boars so we can kick ass next turn. I'll take, uh, Lot. No, we won't. We'll take Alan. No. Yeah, no, we'll take Alan. Then he can... Iron Lance this bloke. Right in the face. Yeah, that should be more than enough to kill him. In fact, it is. In one hit. Yeah! Alan the best. Alan, he is the best. Around! And then Lance can go and have a bit of a fight with these blokes. Of course, with the Iron Sword. Okay, can't see how much damage that guy's gonna do. I'm just gonna save so I can revert if I judge it to be too much. Right, let's see. Okay, 19 damage, but no, 30 damage, but 19% chance to hit, and he's gonna get him severely damaged. So, I mean, I think he can take care of himself there. If not, we can just send in Shanna to help out and kill him real quick. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. She can handle herself. There we go. So he's dead now. Meaning the threat he posed is now gone. Good. What they have? Okay, just Iron Axe and Iron Axe. Good. And Hand Axe as well, of course. But it's not important. We can deal with Hand Axes. Let's move everyone up and get ready to see the enemies respond. Oh, no, that's a fire geyser thing. So yeah, don't move them there. Linus, just go over here. There we go. So what are they going to do? They're going to move troops in at the back of us. Right. Okay, so they ranged Lance, but he dodges. Good. 9% chance to hit. 9% <laughs> uh, chance to hit again. That's fun. And... I'm pretty sure, yeah, we didn't have anyone on the fire guys, is good. Okay, we need someone to deal with these blokes. Right, okay. I think I'll send Lou to deal with one of them. He can't quite get the kill, though. Right, Roy can't get to him either. Lot, you have a... Okay, Lot can't either. Okay, so that's bad, we can't... Get to the other one and kill him. I mean, we could potentially range him. Let's see what. So, uh, yeah, I don't like those chances. Although we do only have to get one hit, and then we can move in Lou to finish him off and use our other units to fight the other guy. Okay, I think we're going to try this. We're going to try this. So. Javelin him in the face and just get one hit at least. Come on. Okay, both hits would be nice. Okay, but fine. So that way he's damaged, so now we can move in Lou. Can't. Okay, yeah, we can move in Lou. Yeah, we can move in Lou. And then you can finish him off. Yeah, there we go. Lou, kill him. Go. Okay, good. So now he's dead. Lovely. Lou gets a tiny bit of experience. Now we can take Roy and Lot and they can deal with the other bloke. Now, Roy, how can you do against him? Can't kill him. Lot, what can you do? You could hand axe him. And kill him. 
like Roy to get some experience, though. So yeah, here's what we do. We take Lot, he only needs to get one hit, and Roy can finish him off. There we go, that's the one hit. Of course, he just gets the kill immediately, so, I mean, plan kind of ruined, but it's fine. It's not really important. Right, okay. Let's take Wade, move him down here, he can axe that guy in the face. How much? No, he can axe the other bloke in the face. Way he does slightly more damage, actually. So, yeah, do that. God damn it. At least he dodges. And we do have two quite powerful units up there who can provide support to kill him. Yeah, no, we'll just iron. Actually, how does Gantz Lance do against them? Okay, that's. That could kill him. Right, Lance, you better not miss. Get both hits, kill him, okay? Now dodge. There we go. Okay, kill him. Yes! Lance, you're the best. Excellent. Lance gets a bit of experience, he gets the kill, and we can take Shanna and use her overwhelming power to destroy this guy. Easily, actually. So, please dodge. There we go, and dead. Lovely! Right. Let's move up the troops. Just to avoid the fire guys and things. Good thing that uh, none of our units were standing on those things at the uh, when they first, you know, fire guys. Right, let's see how they respond. They move troops. Can't see that. No, <laughs> fire guys. Right, so they're moving troops down this way. So I feel we should send our guys down the hallway. To join with the rest of the army, and then once it's their turn, we can do. Oh, oh, okay, right. We'll uh, we'll play defensively a bit, fight from this hallway here. Right. Yeah, I was hoping to go like this way, so the screen thing would be more out of the way, but I guess I can't. Right, so we'll move our units to be here. Apparently there's a spot between Roy and Lou now. But yeah, we'll get our troops to fight defensively from here. And then, of course, Melina at, Melinus and Clarina at the back. Right, so fire geysers. Don't hit anyone, it appears. Right, so he's... He's coming for us. He can get to Lou. Right, in that case, we're gonna move Lou. Where else can you get to? Right, okay, we'll move Lou down here. Voice crack. We'll move up Boars, who is rather uh, tanky, so then he can iron lance him in the face. Let's see how this plays out. And of course, they keep moving the troops. He has a hand axe. I did not realize he had a hand axe. That's annoying. Also, fire geysers, but we are quite safe. Right then. Okay. Boars, how about you move up and iron lance him in the face? You can't kill him, though. That's annoying. Roy, how about you? Roy can kill him, on his own, even. So, yeah, Roy, do that. And please dodge, by the way. Good. Good job, Roy. There we go. Get the kill. Get the experience. Time to move on. They don't have any other troops in that corridor. Well, they do, but they're quite far away. So I think our units can just move up quite happily. Yep. Even though I can't see where I'm moving them because of the bloody screen thing! Sorry, got a bit worked up there. <sighs> yep. Yeah, we'll move them all up, and I'll do my best to manage the screen thing. And of course, avoid the fire geysers, and take care of that. That's our turn, what they do. Right, they're moving troops down to us. Right, yes. 
Fire geysers. That was a lot of fire geysers. Right, let's see how far this archer can go. Right. Perhaps a very fast unit. Can't say. Perhaps a very fast unit moving into his territory and then equipping his javelin might be a good idea. Yeah, we'll do this. I'm going to let the enemy do that and then I think I'm going to end the episode early. Yes, I know, last episode should be proper length. But I really can't play when the main action is going to take place in this corridor here and that part of my screen is impossible to view, can I? So yeah, one last enemy turn, then I'm ending this. And also the let's play with it. I'm really sorry. And I don't want to do this, but I can't. I can't do the let's play with the screen thing. And I can't continue it on another computer. So yeah, I'm really sorry. Anyway, Lance, get the kill, please. There we go. Okay, one last Lance kill there. Send it off. Send off the let's play with. Fire guys, we are safe, I think. Yep, there we go. So that's gonna be fire emblem. Now, I'm really sorry. I really am. I apologize a lot. I know. But yeah, I'm really, really, really sorry. We may, I may replace this series with something else, or I may just focus on Oblivion. I'm not really sure. I'll have to think about it today. Uh, but yeah, I'll come to a decision when there might be something new tomorrow. There might not. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. If you want more videos like it, all you have to do is subscribe. And you know, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and the rest of the Let's Play, maybe. And have a very, very nice day. Goodbye.